I think the good work has to ask questions. And if it asks questions of me, the maker, then how do other people see that work? You know, a lot of what I do, we have all been programmed to think it's all seconds in ceramics, you know, when you get a dribbly glaze or a little mark on the pot from where another pot has touched it, you know, but without that touching it, then you wouldn't get all the colours around there. And of course, you're going to get a lot of disasters, but you are going to get one or two gems. So yeah, since the last show, I think I've my pots are made to kind of capture or try to capture what will happen in my kiln. I can see there's a lot of damage in the front, um, the wood we had when we were firing was short to pieces and it was difficult to stop it from bouncing around and uh, so it knocked over quite a few pots and although I tried to write the pots upright you know it's very difficult when the kiln's at 1300 so there's probably going to be quite a few pots stuck together in the front and the way I stack the kiln this time as well I stacked pots on top of pots which is great um, if it works it works really well but it's a big risk and I think I've said before you know you only get the nice pots if you're willing to take the risk so you have to be able to accept the failures that go with it along the way so all I can do now is just carefully take things out Some firing's almost perfect and others most of it's damaged. So you know to, to get one nice pot you may have to sacrifice three or four. Um, but that's the way it is. One way of unpacking the kiln, huh? I was in the fortunate position because the bulk, well the pots are up for the exhibition okay. anyway. So whatever I do now is a bonus. So I wanted to um, stack the kiln a bit more loosely, a bit more uh, to risk. And that's exactly what's happened. And I just need to take my time and really be careful on the cleaning now and rescue these special pots, because they're here. <clears throat> um, we can usually get them apart but there's usually one obvious one to sacrifice and when you've got two beautiful ones stuck together it becomes a bit of a, a dilemma but these two here as you can see this this jar is very nice and um, I often get nice taller bottles so I may have to put a hammer to the bottle. Doesn't that make that one twice as special? Yeah I need to be very careful with this because this is a special pot, one that you don't see that often. A good pot is like a good storybook, isn't it? It's, it's recording 
four days of its its journey from clay to a pot. All that turbulent flame and the way it's packed and fired and blah blah blah. But you have to be able to read that story. And I'm beginning to break that code. But you know, we could play safe. Pop it all in a gas kiln. Nothing against gas kilns, it's just an example. And, or indeed in the wood kiln, I could stack things in there and play a lot safer. And get 10 times as much work out of it. But, they wouldn't carry that special it would just be like more like a production line rather than the kiln giving me a gift you see mm -hmm. only when it comes out the firing <laughs> Yep, that's just the beginning. <laughs>